sense it. Alright guys, so as you can see by the title of today's video, I am going to be going through my last week of work and yeah, it's a bit bittersweet. I do share more at the end of the video about my thought process as well as just me submitting my two week notice which really was hard for me for some reason. But yeah, this week is going to be all about handing projects over to other people on my team, wrapping up anything that I have left that I might be working on. Also basically just saying my goodbyes because I mean, I've been working at this company for two and a half years. I have many mentors and coworkers and teammates that I had really enjoyed working with and getting to know. Today's Monday and I actually had my team call this morning where, where my team lead officially announced that I was leaving the team. And after that, I was really just working on my day-to-day -day scripting tasks as well as catching up with one of my coworkers I hadn't talked to in a few weeks probably. And they'll also be taking on some of the work that I'm passing over. And we're about to go get lunch. And then this afternoon, I have another call with my team also to hand over some information. Okay, so one of the things that I did for my leaving the company thing was that my company actually has these reward points that you can get basically to redeem stuff when you have certain accomplishments or achievements that a manager or an executive can basically give me an award. I basically saved up all of my reward points. I don't know if every company does this, but I think I had like the equivalent of probably more than a thousand dollars of award points. And basically you can order items and these are like cooler items, not just like you know, basic things. But this is one of the things that I got and it is the GoPro Hero 8. And I actually, we actually bought the GoPro Hero 9 um, that we use for our trip to Acadia, Acadia National Park in Bar Harbor, Maine. And we didn't end up keeping that one because we were trying to use it for like night photography, basically like night time lapse because the stars in Maine are a lot clearer than, you know, most places in the US. Yeah, it was, it ended up turning out not that great, but I feel like I don't know if it's because we were beginners. I don't know, maybe it was just us. So I decided to get this one and I got eight different things, but this was just one of them. And it was also the first thing to come, so. Okay guys, so basically I spent some time making a list of people I should be sending goodbye emails to. I know that sounds very uh, tedious, but it actually helps me reflect a little bit as well on all the teams I've worked on, all the projects I've done, especially bittersweet for my DNI or diversity and inclusion initiatives that I had worked on, and a lot of it was around bringing more minority groups into coding and technology, as well as Asian American leadership groups. I think I have a meeting this afternoon with one of the leads that I was working with on one of my leadership groups. It was originally going to be a planning and brainstorming call, but now it's kind of going to be a catch up and what's next kind of call. So it'll just be like a conversation. And yeah, that is really kind of how my day is looking like so far. All right, I wanted to take a minute to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is Built Bar. So if you guys had previously been following along with my work vlogs, you know that I started my workout journey last year and I'm super excited to have found a protein bar that actually tastes good because I have a major sweet tooth. So it's really helpful that these protein bars actually taste good and are still really high in protein. Okay, so here I actually have their variety pack, which has a bunch of different flavors and some of the flavors I haven't tried at all yet. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a taste test. So this one I've really been wanting to try. I wanted to do this taste test with you guys and it is the churro flavored Built Bar Puffs. And it has 17 grams of protein, 6 grams of sugar, and only 140 calories. This is literally like a marshmallow chocolate bar. <laughs> so it tastes like marshmallows covered in cinnamon, covered in chocolate. And I would have never guessed that this was an actual protein bar. Alright, so now I'm debating which one I should try next. I've tried a lot of chocolate ones, so maybe I'll go for something fruity. A raspberry flavored one. And it is 130 calories, 17 grams of protein, and 4 grams of sugar. So for the normal bars, the consistency is similar to caramel, but a bit more chewy. And this really just tastes like chocolate covered raspberries, which is amazing. All right, so that was our little Built Bar taste test. If you guys are interested in checking out some amazing tasting protein bars, I will link the website for Built Bar below. And thank you so much Built Bar for sponsoring this video. And let's get back to the vlog. Okay, I'm doing a quick unboxing. I got some mail. All right, so I got some jewelry from Mason Maru. So I got these really simple pair of gold hoops. This necklace, but I think it's a 14 inch chain. Okay, so this one is another necklace. It's just S for my initial. I'm so excited to like pair this one 
layered on top of this one. Hey guys, it is afternoon time and and I really already finished a lot of what I have to do for today and which is kind of crazy because I also feel like the two week time frame is really a time for you to hand or projects over and finish things up. But besides that, there's a lot more downtime, I feel like, though I'm sure there's people who are leaving a company and then they're like scrambling to get stuff done. But my team, we really did work together for a lot of the things that I work on. Okay, there was only one thing, like maybe the Python scripting stuff that I did that no one else on my team worked on. But like everything else I worked on with my teammates, you know? It's not necessarily that I'm, you know, teaching whole new things or showing them brand new things. They really already know a lot of it. And I'm just finishing up the handover knowledge, I guess, I don't know. But in the meantime, I also was just looking at a few courses on my company's internal portal. So at least there's something I can look at or do in the downtime in between. Getting dinner. Good morning guys, it is currently Wednesday and yesterday I didn't really vlog too much. So yesterday I really spent a lot of time documenting basically processes that I had specifically around a few Python scripts that I had, a few things with the databases that my team works with, as well as one of the bigger projects I worked on last year. So yeah, it's really just me gathering a whole bunch of information and I try to make it as cohesive as possible. We create a guide and there's like screenshots and notes and stuff for them to know even when you know I'm not there. Yeah basically I try to make it so that anyone could replicate what I was doing. Yeah which wasn't really that complex anyway. It's really just like being able to run scheduled Python scripts, authenticating to servers, making sure that credentials are secure and stored separately from the actual script or code itself. And I think documenting all that down really solidified it in my mind as well. But besides that, you guys know I'm also in a rotation program. So yeah, I basically told people in my rotation program that I will be leaving and that was definitely really bittersweet as well as well as my program manager or my previous program manager when I was in the program. The connections are really like, you know, what make your job fun and the people you work with. I mean, even though I never really worked with them directly, it's basically like having a community at work. So definitely something I'm gonna miss. I mean, not to say that I'm not gonna have a community in my new job, but still I will really, really miss everyone. The people that I already have told are people I already had you know, scheduled one-on-ones with and my program and my immediate team. But on my last day, I am going to give that farewell email, I guess, because I would love to stay connected, obviously, with a lot of the people that I've worked with and met here. Um, I'm gonna stop talking, get some breakfast, and then I have a meeting with my team lead and, and things have really been busy on my team. So that meeting might be moved depending on what they're working on. Yeah, I will talk to you guys after I eat breakfast. For anyone who remembers, my daily egg. All right guys, so it's a little later in the day and I just had lunch, but I wanted to quickly show you guys some of the rewards that I got, or I guess awards for for some of the reward points I mentioned to you in the beginning of this vlog that I got, that I just accumulated from the last two and a half years. And the Koji's just in his truck next to me. Okay, the first thing I got is this. I got a lot of gear because I think I want to plan like a camping trip or like an RV trip at some point this year. So I got this uh, LED lamp and it runs I think 100 plus hours on low. So the next thing I got is this drone. It's from the brand Tello and I think it's known as a very beginner drone. It literally only runs for 13 minutes flight time. 720 HD. So yeah, it's, it's a very beginner drone. I think it's only like $100 retail or something like that. But I figure I might as well test with something cheaper <laughs> all right next thing is this solar powered battery bank next thing is this weight watcher scale um i think it has like analytics about like body fat percentage and like, body analysis stuff so it's pretty cool and that is the end of this mini haul koji is not impressed no is that what you're doing about 
about to join my last call actually second to last call um but this one is with one of my mentors i mean mentees sorry it'll probably be a goodbye call so a little bit another one of those sad calls santa's on hey let me turn on my video okay hi how are you okay so i just finished my call with my mentee and or one of my mentees and but yeah, I'll still be connecting her with someone else. At least she'll still be in good hands even after I leave. And now I'm basically just taking some notes for some to-dos I have from our call because I mentioned I will connect her with some other people. Okay, so besides that, I just have one more call at the end of the day. And I still need to figure out how to return my work laptop and stuff. I think I've heard that they send kind of like a shipping label and we just ship it back but I haven't heard anything about it yet. So I'm probably gonna follow up and see if I can find some info about that because I do want to ship this back to them in a timely manner. Um, that's really it for the day. Um, it's already three o'clock, so almost done. And I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Look at the past a bit. And it really looks like China. Like actually so sad. Family shop. Oh, TV. That's the good. <gasps> she knows to you. <gasps> my first ramen. My first ramen in like two years. This one, I think we got this one. Yeah, we got this from Costco. It's a Poro style miso ramen. A movie. Very Asian. Okay guys, it is Thursday and I really didn't vlog much of anything today, but there were some really cool clouds outside, so I recorded that. But also, I wanted to share my unboxing for my new work laptop. And this is my first time using a Mac for work. Yeah, I really only use Windows most of my life besides the current MacBook that I have right now. gonna get lunch it's a friday to a very long week yeah i'm very excited we are gonna get some japanese food hey friends so i just submitted my two week notice okay so this is my second time trying to film this tidbit but i have just submitted my two week notice for some reason when i see videos where people are submitting you know their resignation letters it always seems like a oh i couldn't wait for this you know like um like they're excited about submitting it but honestly it took me 10 minutes first of all to even try to send the email because i was literally just like i can't send this for some reason i don't know if it was like fear or anxiety or like even now i can't believe i sent that email it feels like the end of an era for me because this was my first job out of college it sounds like i'm about to cry but I, i'm really not i just yeah, like whatever people have said about like quitting a job or resigning, it feels so different when you actually do it. There's like a lot more feelings of sadness than I expected. Like I thought I would be excited. Um, I mean, I still am excited about going to my new role, but that doesn't necessarily mean I'm excited about leaving my current job or my current team. Yeah, so it's like a mix of being sad, but also being optimistic for the future, I guess. I, I mean, I originally planned on filming my last week of work. Yeah, I, I definitely made good friends, good coworkers. This is the first company to, you know, really they really took a chance on me when they hired me into cybersecurity, who has, you know, zero experience and my background was in software development. For those of you who may not know, yeah, they really took a chance on me when they hired me into this role. I just appreciate you all sticking around and I am excited to start my new role and I'll be doing a lot more hands on work compared to the role that I'm doing right now. It's been about 10 minutes of me just sitting here in silence and then randomly starting the talk. Yeah, I'll probably put this 
video and the end of my last week of my job video. Thank you guys again so much for sticking around and for anyone who is going through the same thing or maybe you're interviewing elsewhere or looking for a new role, um, good luck and I'm really wishing you the best because honestly there's a lot of exciting projects and work to do out there and, and if you're feeling unsatisfied in any way in your job, um, that may be a sign to might as well just go for it. Uh, try for other things. You can just look casually if you want to. I really wasn't applying like crazy. Uh, it just so happened that this opportunity came up, but I will do vlogs every once in a while and maybe share what I can. So yeah, appreciate all of you so, so much and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.